This is Akash Vani Shalong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. President Draupadi Murmu has invited Prime Minister-designate Narendra Modi to form a new government at the centre. The swearing-in ceremony will be held at the Rajtrapati Bhavan at 7.15 p.m. tomorrow. Modi met the President yesterday and staked claim to form the new government at the centre. An NDA delegation led by BJP President J.P. Nadda also met the President and submitted a letter stating that Narendra Modi has been elected as a leader of the BJP Parliamentary Party. Letters of support from NDA constituent parties were also handed over to the President. Speaking outside the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Modi stated that the NDA will form a strong, stable and growth-oriented government. The list of Council of Ministers will be handed to the President. Modi said the people have given the NDA one more chance and this 18th Lok Sabha is a house of new and youthful energy. He assured that his government will fulfill hopes and aspirations of the people of the country. The Prime Prime Minister Designate said that the stable government will prove beneficial for India and its economy as well as the youth. He assured that the nation and his government will not leave any stone unturned to develop the nation at a fast pace. In Sikkim, the Sikkim Kranti Kari Morcha Parliamentary Party has unanimously decided to support Narendra Modi, the leader of the BJP Parliamentary Party, as a Prime Minister of India. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang announced this on his official social media page after a meeting held yesterday at his official residence with the newly elected legislators. He said that the party unanimously decided to support Modi. Sikkim has only one Lok Sabha MP from the Sikkim Krantikari Morcha. The party also has 31 MLAs in the 32-member Sikkim Legislative Assembly. In Manipur, curfew was imposed in the border town of Jiribam as law and order deteriorated in the town after one person who went to his farm was found dead with wounds caused by a sharp object. Some houses belonging to two different communities were burned down by miscreants. The district administration has imposed the curfew in the town and security forces and district level officers have been instructed to take measures to protect lives and properties. Meanwhile, villagers from the violence-prone areas have been evacuated to safer locations. Meghalaya Legislative Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma Med with the Bharti Institute of Public Policy and Indian School of Business team consisting of Dr. Arushi Jain and other members and the team apprised him of the progress made on the prestigious Meghalaya Legislative Research Fellowship. The fellowship inducted its second cohort in March this year and is being run in collaboration with the Meghalaya Institute of Governance. The cohort of 12 legislative fellows are tasked with providing evidence-based research assistance and policy support to legislators of the state of Meghalaya. Congress President Malika Arjun Kharge has demanded a high-level probe to investigate into the alleged irregularities in the conduct of National Eligibility Come Entrance Test, NEET, which is an entrance test for admission to MBBS and BDS colleges across the country. In a social media post yesterday, Kharge said a high-level investigation should be conducted under the supervision of the Supreme Court. He alleged that the paper's leaks, rigging and corruption have become an integral part of many examinations, including need, and he blamed the government for such irregularities in conducting the exam. The Income Tax Department will organize a three-day taxpayers hub next week in Shillong to educate taxpayers and provide information about the Income Tax Act. Principal Director General of Income Tax Administration and TPS New Delhi, Archana Chaudhary, will inaugurate the hub on Monday. Addressing a press conference yesterday, Principal Commissioner of Income Tax D.A.G. Saukume said that the Taxpayers Hub is an outreach program by the department to educate the taxpayers and provide information about the Income Tax Acts and redressal of grievances. Saukume said the hub is being organized to showcase the department's initiative for taxpayers' services and facilitate voluntary compliance. He informed that there will be information coics and pamphlets to be distributed to sensitize the taxpayers. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong station of Akashwani. Have a nice day.